Welcome to Season 2, Episode 4 of Plane Savers! Hey everybody, today's episode, Episode 4 of Season 2. First off, really quickly, I want to thank you. Thank everybody. We just surpassed 40,000 subscribers uh, last night. Uh, huge thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But for today's episode, I got a special awesome thing. You know Flight Chops? You remember Flight Chops? He is our man ago. He is my inspiration, my mentor here in YouTube. He, uh, the reason I'm talking quickly actually is there's a 737 coming. So I gotta make sure I get this done quick enough. Uh, so let's head off to Ontario where Flight Chops, this is great man, he is actually set it up so we have a competing aircraft. Yes, so while we build the Fokker, there's going to be an airplane in Ontario going head to head to see who can finish first. So you're getting two airplanes for the price of one here on season two of Plane Savers. Let's go to Ontario right now and wait for this airplane to pass. Hey Mikey, this is uh, the Canadian Historical Aircraft Association's Tiger Moth project. We got Nicole and JR and they're going to tell you about it. Hey Mikey, well, this is our project. I watched your YouTube the other day and I saw you, how you opened up the whole crate and you showed everybody what you had. This is what we have. Got a lot of work to do. We've got our wing in front of us here. Even we looked at this and we got some work to do, but we have three more wings to build. So don't feel bad about you having to build a Six wings. Yeah. Six <laughs> wings, I can't imagine. We're going to be sending this footage to Mikey, so I think yeah. the idea is that we'll, we'll try to keep... So we're going to try to send you footage, Mikey, as often as we can, between JR and Nicole are going to be here more often than I am, probably. So if we can get like two or three times a week, possibly, updates, is that kind of what we're aiming for? What do you think? We could do that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We plan on having a really good crew on this. What we got out of the project was a full wing. There is some damage to it, but we're going to rebuild it. Uh, we managed to acquire a whole bunch of uh, ribs. We're going to have to build some spars. That's some of our uh, issue. We're going to have to get some spars. Um, the turtle decks, as you can see on the fuselage over there, uh, are on. We've got Dante and Hassam. They're working right now on an elevator. We've had a good look over, and our AME looked at the uh, fuselage. Our fuselage is looking really good and uh, no major issues with it. So that's our, going to be our basis of the build. Uh, parts and pieces, as you can see, Mikey, got some original uh, ailerons. We're going to have a look at those, probably take the covers off, recover them. Uh, still original uh, um, canopies. Our engine's not with us right now. It's st still over in Guelph at the Tiger Boys. That's where we got the project from. Uh, just a little bit about the plane's history as well. Um, it was actually flew out of here in 1945. Um, let me double check that. <laughs> As you can see here, number EFTS. This indicates that this plane was here at the number seven elementary flying training school. It flew here in 43, so 1943. And this was a pre-World War II design. Correct. So it's not it's not as old as the uh, Fokker. The Fokker was legit World War One. This is pre-World War II, although it carried through as a trainer into World War II. But we can get more details on all that stuff, and I guess Nicole will be our point person for that. So we're looking about the history of the plane here and the information. Uh, we got here specifically the data plate that comes with the plane. So this is a very important piece of information and very similar to a make and model VIN number of the car. That's amazing. Cool. And that we still have it. Yeah. <laughs> right on. So I want to thank Flight Chops and the crew in Ontario. I can't wait to see more updates on uh, the Tiger Moth. That's going to be so cool. Again, two airplanes for the price of one, folks. Very cool. Now, I've got lots of segments. So coming up, we're going to have a segment with William, uh, the young uh, pilot that, and avionics tech that came from the school. He's joining us this, there you go, this, uh, this September. So just a couple more weeks. He's uh, finished up his flight training and working towards getting the, the Fokker flying, or flying in the Fokker. Oh uh, man, a lot of puns, but anyway. Uh, but at the end, you gotta stick into the end, uh, Pierre and Bobby have gone and found an original Fokker uh, D7, uh, so D-V-I-I, uh, an original World War I fighter, 100% original, uh, and they found it for us, they're gonna have a little bit of segment. But before we see that, let's go see William and see how he's doing. 
Hi everybody, it's me William. I don't know if you recognize me, usually I wear my white beanie. Right now uh, I don't have it, so it might be confusing for the first few seconds, but uh, you'll get used to I think. So yeah, as you might know by now, uh, Mikey offered me the chance to uh, fly the DR1 when we will set the date. And uh, it's something that I think I can't refuse and I will not refuse it. Uh, I'm excited to know more about this uh, this airplane and everything involved around it, but because I think it's it's such an amazing and iconic aircraft. So uh, yeah, it's pretty much it. Other than that, in the, in the the spring, I graduate the, at ENA as an avionic technician. So I'm uh, all done on this part. Uh, in the meantime, during the summer, I was finishing my commercial uh, license and my multi IFR rating. So uh, I think I'll be all set uh, to go to Buffalo in September and uh, work a bit on the DR1 and uh, all the plane they got uh, in, uh, in, in their anger. So uh, other than that, uh, I saw a few comments on the Facebook group, people wondering if uh, maybe I got some tailwheel time and uh, other, other type of aircraft than just regular tricycle. So I can tell you that, yeah, I got uh, a float rating and um, and some tailwheel time. Nothing too crazy, but uh, yeah, I think it can help in the process to learn uh, to fly those type of aircraft. And uh, yeah, so uh, bye for now and uh, hope to see you soon. So thank you, William, uh, for sending us the video. Um, you know, it's very, very important to me uh, that William gets all the training, uh, not only on Buffalo airplanes, uh, but World War I type airplanes before he flies the Fokker. So the, the, real, the real thing is he's probably not gonna be the test pilot. We're gonna have somebody, probably a viewer that's watching this right now uh, that has flown Fokker DR1s as the test pilot. And eventually what we're gonna do is have it uh, so William can fly the airplane. One thing I really kind of missed with DTD uh, is the experience. Uh, I could have had you know a viewer's experience of flying the aircraft. Uh, you know Quinn's experience with the airplane was you know the best. Um, but I think with this project coming up because it's so new for everybody that uh, now you can live through William's eyes as he trains on various aircraft uh, and then eventually flies the airplane once we know it's safe and everything's good and he's trained and we're all comfortable uh, to make sure he's, he's good, then he gets to fly it. Imagine that, imagine being able to, you know, you know, if you're watching this in the past, you've maybe already even seen the episode in the future, but yeah, imagine William being able to jump in that airplane, take it for a flight uh, after working on it and everything. It's just gonna be absolutely amazing. So I got a surprise. Actually, William's mother has sent me some photos uh, to actually go back in time, I think to 2006, when William, uh, you know, the birth of his aviation love. Uh, so I'm gonna be showing those pictures. Check these pictures out right now. Isn't he cute? Isn't that the coolest thing ever? Uh, yeah, going way back. This is so cool. So uh, it, it means a lot to me to make sure that everything's safe uh, and William is, you know, comfortable with everything. So we'll worry about that stuff later. Uh, but going back to it, um, Fokker, the Fokker DVII, I guess the D7. Uh, there's an original example here in Canada from World War One. Like this is. Uh, a war trophy that was brought in. Check this out. Pierre and Bobby have gone and filmed it for us. Check this out. I love it. Oh, hello everybody. Hello, Mr. Mikey, Stella, Benjamin, and the boys. Aviation Pierre and I are here in Broome to look at something really special related to your project. Pretty soon. Is it in there? Is it in that, that, that building there? In that building there is something really cool. So come along with me and Pierre and have a look. Boop. Okay, you may go. Here we are. Meet the Fokker. It's filming. Are you sure? Yeah. My red point is uh, blinking, so I'm filming. Pierre, are you yeah. sure you're filming? Yeah, I'm filming. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I 
an original DVII D7. Cool. Look at that. Look eh? okay. at beautiful original First World War brought back as a war trophy. Original, original, original. Some repairs over the years, but this is how it uh, came back. 22 of them. This is the only survivor. Wow. They actually had the uh, curators from the museum in Ottawa come down here and they checked it out and they found it was too fragile to move. So if anybody says it should be in Ottawa, yes, it should be in Ottawa, but it's too fragile to move. And they've done a wonderful job here at the museum of uh, showing the art artifacts from the First World War. So it's cool. It looks to be well protected. So I'm pretty happy about it. Smaller than I thought. Guys, look what I found. A set of stairs. Hmm. So the show continues. So check this out. Look at that. Maybe we can zoom in and see. Now, there's the writing in German, but only Stella will know if it's correct or not. So I don't know what I'm looking at. There's a dispute about the S versus a Z. So there's your original German writing. There's some tears in the fabric. Whoop. Whoop. Some wrinkling on the sides. The engine. There's the motor. Motor. So the D7 here is pretty impressive. This thing is, is magnificent. Uh, I get a lot of comments saying that the D7 is far superior than the DR1, which we're rebuilding. And uh, of course, that's the truth, but uh, I'm not lucky enough to have one of these, but we are lucky enough to have the DR1. And that's what we're going to be starting with soon, folks. And hopefully you like this footage. Uh, I, I, I'm speechless. This, this is amazing. To have this in Canada is, is mind-boggling. It's almost hard to believe, too, how good a shape this thing is. Uh, you got the guns there, which is pretty cool. They must be real. And, uh, yeah, the fabric, uh, it's in amazing shape. And what a gift to uh, the historical preservation of aviation. And thinking that this was the most terrifying aircraft in the air at the time is crazy. And uh, this is what we're going to have to get William dressed up in. Very cool. This has been a huge inspiration. I can't wait to get started on our little Fokker. So thank you, Pierre and Bobby. That was awesome. I love, you guys should have your own comedy show. I love it. So thank you uh, for Pierre for shooting that and Bobby for sending me some stuff too. Uh, it was very good. We're going to hear more about that airplane too. Uh, Word on street, Benoit's going to find some more info, information on that airplane. I look forward to it because that is truly a piece of uh, history that is right here in Canada. So, uh, next episode, folks. Uh, next episode, I'm very excited. I got a special episode, and it's going to be all about these things, the Baslers. Hopefully, I'm pointing that right. Uh, the Baslers. I got a really cool segment. I'm super stoked to show you guys. So, that episode's going to be coming up pretty quick in the next couple days. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do that. that. So, check out the join button down there if you want to get a little bit of extra uh, Plane Savers content. I'm having a blast, folks. Uh, we, I do have another special uh, something we're going to be doing with DTD at the end of the month. So I'm working towards that. A lot of stuff behind in behind the scenes. And we got to get the Fokker to yellow knife and start working on it. Uh, so it's going to be a very cool winter. This is the first winter I'm actually looking forward to. It's 14 degrees out, which is 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Not very nice here. Might as well bring the snow. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Uh, you have a great day. Wherever in the world you are, you be safe. And maybe one day you can find a plane to save too. Bye.